you. Happy um, Tuesday. How's it going? So uh, I haven't been on here in, in just a little bit. We've had obviously the holiday, but wow, what a month November has been. Um, I'm sure you guys are all feeling it. I'm sure you guys are all feeling November and kind of getting through the the race that November was. Um, hi guys, I love that um, Facebook starts building its audience right away. I'm not sure exactly how that it does that, but um, I also want to encourage you. There's a little share button at the bottom, so if any of this resonates with you, uh, make sure to share. So. First of all, I don't know if any of you saw the life tip this morning, but it said, how about um, we try a diet of eating less crap all the time? So hi, Dustin and Sarah and Dana. So it just was talking about how about let's us try a diet of stop eating so much crap all the time. And um, it's so interesting because I just had a patient come in and she was talking about, she's like, hey, I sat down. So so interesting. She said, I sat down for Thanksgiving dinner and I did my normal, whatever I was eating. And I hope you guys are still here. Someone was just trying to call me. So she said, what I noticed was after I ate a whole bunch of carbohydrates, a whole bunch of probably junky carbohydrates, she didn't even exactly say what she ate. But she said, after I ate a whole bunch of carbohydrates, what I noticed was some of the areas that you adjust in my spine. She said, I just felt like things went out and out. We kind of use that term really loosely with chiropractic because we don't really go in and out. But what happens is misalignments create a lot of um, inflammation around that. And if we have a really inflammatory diet, those kind of things can get really kicked up. And so that's what she was noticing. And she's like, I just think it's so interesting. And I'm like, okay, so let's think about that. If you could feel that after the carbohydrates that you had that day, and then, um, that's only what was symptomatic. Imagine what was going on on a systemic, cellular, whole body level. And then add that day after day after day, which we don't eat like we do on Thanksgiving. But if we think about, if we add that day after day after day, just what kind of inflammation we can have in our body. And many, many of the things that um, we put in our bodies on a daily basis are incredibly inflammatory. So I want you to think about this one thing. So. Number one, you can actually Google anti-inflammatory diet. And I want you to think about doing that and, and then look at the things that are actually anti-inflammatory. You could also Google inflammatory diet and, and look at all the different things that are inflammatory that maybe you put in your body on a regular basis. We definitely don't want to be adding all that stuff in there regularly. 